<clears throat> so, uh, Brian, thanks for coming back. Um, I uh, thought that we could go over your uh, DWI situation again. Okay. I know that that was particularly stressful for you, and so I just want to sort of go over that. Yeah. Um, why don't you uh, go ahead and retell me about it? Um, okay, so I believe last time I told you that um, I fell asleep um, in the McDonald's drive through mm -hmm. and so um, the, the first thing that I can recall from the incident is the officer waking me up, mm -hmm. and then after that, she did all of her field sobriety tests, and then after that, I, I guess I failed it, you know, I felt okay. like I did well. Yeah. Um, so it was like a sudden experience for you? Yeah, it was like sudden, a... it, was, it was sudden, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but yeah, I felt like I did well on the test, but she ended up arresting me anyways. Um, and so yeah, and then that was that. I uh, built myself out the next day, and yeah, yeah. Was the financial burden of bail bailing yourself out was that was that um, rough? Was that it wasn't. Yeah, I I was really scared because it was, mm -hmm. it was like how much was it? It was a lot of money, but you only mm -hmm. pay ten percent of that, so oh, okay. it wasn't as bad as I was it expecting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So uh, why don't we go over your feelings? So just yeah. tell me, tell me, like, what kind of feelings did you have during um, the experience? During the experience, mm -hmm. I was frustrated, mm -hmm. and I was well. I guess it's a synonym, but I was upset. <laughs> There's different kinds. Um, of yeah. Yeah. It's okay. yeah it's okay. Um, I, I was like kind of, of sad after the incident mm -hmm. happened, and okay. disappointed. Okay, disappointed in, in, in like yourself or how the how you um, the disappointed in the the overall incident, you know? Okay. So do you think that that disappointment uh, is carrying weight after the event too, or? Um, I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, I feel like I'm kind of getting over it, but like, it's still kind of like, you know, like I'm still kind of, like whenever I'm going through the, the hearings and stuff for the certain things, like I still feel kind of disappointed in myself. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. It's perfectly okay to still have those kind of like hard feelings about it. Something, you know, that was, uh, I mean, like you said, it was sudden, so it's, you know, it's going to have an impact on the last thing about it. Right. That's, that's normal. So, do you think that with this situation, with the way that you're coming forward, do you think you're handling it well? Um, I think I am, because um, like it's a it's a major incident, you know. So I'm like stressed all of the time about this incident, but like I'm still balancing my my regular duties, okay. you know. So like my jobs and school yeah. and all of that. So you're still maintaining a good balance. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. That's a, that's really good. That's a, that's a strength that you can use, yes. you know, to handle the situation. Uh, do you think that your emotional state is getting better as time goes, or is it getting worse with the situation? I think it is getting better. Yes. Yes. Um, kind of iffy on that though. Um, but uh, generally, yes, yes. But I have like times where I'm like, okay, like I still feel like I don't have my my life together, you know. But mm -hmm. I slowly back on track. Okay. All right. Well, I think. That's all the questions that I had prepared. Was there anything else that you wanted to talk about with the situation? Um, not really. No, not that's, right. That's, not that's, at this moment. Okay, I understand. Yeah, it's still kind of sensitive. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you. Thank you.